slow start, however, I'm sure in the midway part of this session we're going to have a lot more drivers out on that. Of course, 18. And bottom three, as things stand, will be dropping out. So I then starts this lap and you get some DRS down towards the first corner into the very long turn one and turn two, which can all be merged into one corner really. Through the left of three and out through four, get your exit right and don't spin the car. Easy, easily done. Through and now into turn six, the hairpin at the bottom of the hill. Very, very strong action point in the race. Watch out for that. Especially if we have some rain, we might see drivers locking up, making mistakes. Through the fast chicane, I guess, of seven and eight. Into the double left then of nine and ten. Very easy to get wrong, as Aya uh, demonstrates for us. And I guess we'll pick up with Longson. <coughs> Doesn't look like he's going flat out right now, but that's fine. Out of this double left, watch out for the track limits. They will bite you in the backside. Heavy braking zone down all the way to second or third gear um, for turn 11. And then another long right-hander through 12 and 13. Easy to spin the car, lose traction. Onto the back straight. DRS is active from that point onwards. <clears throat> Hairpin at the bottom of the straight. Turn 14 and final corner turn 16, which I choose not to do on this occasion. Sets you in good stead for this track. Kirito sets us off with the first flying lap of tonight with a 133.4 and it's very rare that you see uh, with six minutes gone in the session um, so few drivers out and I believe it is starting to rain out there did just see a couple of uh, drops fall it's Asthma Frog our feature driver for today comes across the line to do a 34.6 TD is out on track and going quick. Top Gun comes out of the pit. Smaller Smiley also on an outlap, as well as Killian. Two Alpines may be trying to do some uh, slipstream strategy. Gosh, say that ten times when you're drunk. And with a very close call of rain. Not too sure how much we'll see in quality. Adrian, rain forecasted only for the race, okay. Um, thank you for that. That explains why drivers are staying in the pits and they see the Alpine slipstream strategy working. They started this little trend in Baku with the first race of the season and well shocked everyone and TD comes across the line to go second fastest as things stand but that means that Killian obviously on an outlap when he gave his teammate the slipstream now moves on to do a lap of his own I wonder if TD is going to give him a nice little slipstream out of turn four Nope, not this occasion, just going to move out of the way <clears throat> and let his teammate through. I imagine they'll be switching the rolls back in due time.
Round 8 of 18 for this season, Season 4. Random calendar order was selected about two or three months ago now, just after Christmas. It's already been almost three months till Christmas. Since Christmas, shall we say. Time flies when you're having fun. Hence why the, uh, the calendar order seems to be a little bit muddled and a little bit unorthodox for this season. Killian goes quickest. First driver tonight into the 1 minute 32s. And thank you Adrian as well for that information earlier on. Oh, and Longson goes for a bit of a spin. Keeps it out of the barrier, which is the most important thing. He has some more time to uh, get a lap time on the board as Top Gun goes four fastest on a 1 minute 33.7. And Ross is approaching his teammate, who is Greg. So I wonder if Greg's going to give Ross a bit of a toe down back straight. Certainly looks like it. Oh, and it looks like the slipstream is working. Wonders Greg using overtake to stay ahead of Ross. That is a beautiful example of how to tow your teammate down the straights. If you're not sure why they're doing that, basically if you sit behind that car in front of you that closely, you are going to get some more speed. And obviously your lap time, lap time will be quicker and you'll be further up the board as Ross goes second on a 33.1. And as one lap, as one driver finishes their lap, another driver starts it. Greg is on a flying lap right now. This is a slower lap from Adrian. He's just gearing up to go again. Aya puts a lap on. We saw him using the mediums um, out when he span earlier on. Still has them on. 134.9 at the moment. Not too bad compared to Asthma Frog. The mediums are slower than the soft tyres, of course, in quali. There's Ross repaying the favour. Slipstream not quite as powerful as the one Greg gave him, but can let Ross off. He's just done a lap. So, Greg goes night fastest, 34.6, slots in just behind Asthma Frog. And 1010 and Padge, the two Hass cars, crossing the line the last few moments. 1010 ahead of Padge by, oh, only 14 milliseconds. Goes ahead of TD, uh, just behind Carito, about a tenth off the pace. Uh, both Hass drivers. Here comes Josh, leading the championship by two points. Deflated we second in the championship and Josh that should see him through ahead of his teammate by oh quick maths about 26 milliseconds very uh, close here tonight between certain teammates of course we'll need to look out for Alpine currently first and seventh Red Bull currently third and fourth and we'll have to be watching out for McLaren as well currently Adrian in Eighth place, deflated wheat, not out of the pits yet. Smaller smiley then, 15th place at the moment, no time on the board. Good time, might jump him up into the top nine. Anything in the 1 minute 33s, the low 1 minute 33s will certainly get you through. And for anything in the high 1 minute 33s might make you a bit nervous towards the end of the session.
<laughs> Did someone say toe? You'd like to order a toe for Sunday? Well, you have to ask your teammate very nicely. And Smaller Smiley continues the trend of qualifying at the moment next to their teammate. Head of Asthma Frog by... Oh, gosh, another bit of quick maths there. About half a second. So, Smaller Smiley, four tenths behind Top Gun. Five tenths ahead of his teammate. Slots in rather nicely into 10th place. On to then a driver who could maybe or should have won, some may argue, on Tuesday night. Mr Wiggles had a very impressive undercut in the race. Watch out for that. We'll talk more about that in a little bit when the race gets nearer. And Mr. Wiggles, only ninth at the moment. Bit of a surprise, but when you think it's only three tenths separating third to tenth, you have to, you have to say ninth is not too bad. You're in that cluster of drivers that probably aren't going to get knocked out, but you might just have to keep an eye on those timing screens. Currently, the, the three dropping out are the only three not to set a lap time. Happy ones that one of those drivers out on track right now on a flying lap to try and get himself into Q2. TD slightly off in the last sector. Well, all you need is to get through this session. 1010 retires. Clearly comfortable with his time. What do you mean, Tom? Did I mention your name? Talking about the goats. I didn't mention goats. RP1 is there across the line into 10th. Not too bad. Should get him through. And what then about Deflated Wii? Certainly not expecting we to drop out of Q1. Power down. Nice and early. It's quite interesting looking at the top speeds people reach before they hit the brakes for the hairpin. If later we reached a total there of 201 miles per hour. Have to see where that stacks up, but at the moment, inflated wheat has gone fastest and Slapbus has joined. I wonder if he's uh, allowed. Just have a quick check in Discord. Pelly hasn't set a lap time. Checker flag has fallen. That's a little bit wide from I there in turn seven. Might cost him a little bit of lap time compared to those around him. The current time to beat is Greg in 15th place on a 34.6. And I is currently three tenths up, which is pretty much what he needs. But Greg goes faster across the line now up into 14th place which now makes Asthma Frog's time the one to beat. Will our feature driver remain in 15th, or will he drop out in Q1? Across the line comes Longson, and does a 34-2, pushing Asthma Frog out. Longson's time is now the one to beat, so Aya's 3 tenth improvement will need more improving if he wants to get through to Q2 and across the line he comes to do a 33-9 and put him just behind his teammate. This then drops Longson out. So all of that effort from Longson unfortunately just missing out on a spot in Q2 by a few hundredths of seconds. 
But the Flay Wing Killian leading the way. Nothing really to separate them. Only two into the 1 minute 32s right now. Ross in a close third, but dropping out. Joseph Ailes will be last on the grid, then Slap Bus. Pelly, no time on the board. Asthma Frog and S. Longson. Seven of them in total. One more coming out as well. Killian, I believe, exiting the pits to maybe give TD the slipstream in Q2. And TD comes around the final corner to start his first flying lap of Q2. Eighty-two is going to be a hell of a title fight. P1 to P7 within 32 points, or P1 to P6 uh, within 32 points. So even more reason to check out our Sunday night streams. All streams on this channel uh, start at 7:30 p.m. GMT. That is UK time. And if you followed and have notifications on, you will be notified. And usually, some kind of clickbait title which I put on the. Uh, Go live notification will remind you that the race is happening. Oh, good evening, RP1 Ilson. Hope you're well, mate. First time in the chat. Hope you're well. Hope you enjoy stuff here in the league. And good time to tune in to the the favour has been repaid. Killian ahead, that's his teammate in the Alpine garage. Giving a lovely little strip steam, slipstream there and getting out of the way. Has got a Haskell right ahead, so he might get a little bit of dirty air in the final corner. That'll be 10 10 gearing up to start a lap. Never know, TD might get a little bit of a slipstream down the final corner. And TD sets things off with a 33 3, quicker than what he managed last session. Jump then on board with 10-10. Plenty of drivers out on laps. Only two in the pit, Josh and Adrian so far. 13 then out on there, jockeying for position, getting their lap times on. Did I say strip slim? Did I actually say that? I don't think English is my first language tonight. Wow, I actually said that. That's embarrassing. I hope that doesn't get clipped. <laughs> Can't believe he's 76 points back. Could have been well in it. Well, let's, let's put things into perspective. This is a shorter season, so you've got to be on it from day one. And sometimes if it's just not your season, it's not your season. Next next season, there'll be a, a full calendar, uh, more races, more opportunity to gain points, more opportunity for your rivals to lose points. So, yeah, just, just do your best in every race, and if you're there, you're there. Turn down across the line. Can he beat his teammate, who is currently second fastest? No, he can't. Uh, although it is very close there between Patrick Carito and 10-10. TD just one tenth off the pace. Currently, Mr. Wiggles setting the pace on a 33 1. Ross does a 33 4 and just puts himself at the back of that cluster of six. Aya in the Ferrari, 33 7 so far, and RP1's uh, on a 33 8. Although that lap time from Zer was on the medium compound tyre, so not too bad there. Still, Josh is in the pits, and Greg, after an opening run, didn't work out too well for Greg there. Back into the pits, and I'm sure we'll see Greg shortly again.
And to play wheat, wow, that's that's very quick. That is seven tenths quicker than anyone else tonight. Well, five tenths quicker than what he managed last session. And certainly, that's very scary. I'm glad I'm not racing in this tier, is all I'm saying. Wow. Prediction is live. You can bet your channel points. Who's getting pole tonight? Your options are to play with Josh Killian, Wiggles, or someone else. If you get it right, you win all the channel points betted. Split between you and the other people who vote for the right answer. Gain channel points if you're new around here by just watching the stream. If you're a sub, you earn, I think, double channel points. But we're not expecting anyone to sub. Your hard-earned money, I'm sure you got lovely things you can spend that on. Adrian then third fastest and joins Killian and Deflate Away in the 1 minute 32s. Smaller Smiley, this one's invalid and bombing down now towards the final corner. <coughs> So I wonder if Smaller Smiley is just going to go into the pits here. Um, well, I was going to announce it, but I don't think it's working, Hales. Um, I wanted to put some music into the stream during Quali, just to make things a bit more different and see if it works. If it doesn't work, it's fine. We'll bin it, but I don't think it's working, which is a shame. I've got music in my ear, but I don't think the stream can hear it. So that's uh, it's a little bit of a buzzkill for me. I'm not sure it is working. Muppet is an alien. <laughs> yes, he is. Muppet, deflate we. One in the same. Padge has retired from the session. 33-2. Um, I know Padge is on a controller, but boy, that is quick. Just blast some music in your living room so the mic picks it up. <laughs> I might actually uh, see if that works. That's Top Gun then, who found himself in that cluster of drivers that we're expecting to see between Killian and Ross at the moment, second to ninth. We're expecting Top Gun to be somewhere around that pace, so might put some pressure on his teammate, who's currently uh, tenth place and the time to beat. Yeah, I might do that, Joseph Hills, actually. See if it works. Prediction is up for 10 minutes. Get your points on the line. Who do you think is going to get pole position tonight? Let me know, Joseph, if you can hear the music. So we're going board then with Top Gun. Alpha Romeo. It's nice out of the way. Oh, and just on the inside curb there, Top Gun has a bit of a spin. Might be able here to uh, just back off this lap regain some ERS and go again. Sometimes there might be a bit of a delay, so it might come through. Josh Allen has been super impressive this season in AT1. He DNF'd in Baku with the opening race of the season, but since then, he got two second places in Brazil in the sprint and the feature race. 
third in France, second in Abu Dhabi, second in uh, Belgium, and has won the last two Grand Prix. So Josh is getting quicker and quicker as the season goes on. Awesome, that's uh, exactly what I was hoping for. Let me know if it um, it works. Like, if it's just odd, that's fine. We can just take it out. Josh then deflated we has set a benchmark of 32.4. Josh has a 33.1, so not quite in that exclusive group of four drivers at the top there. But still, not too bad, and should, should I say, get him through into Q3. I think you're getting deaf. Is it too loud? If it's too loud, let me know. No. Who is a bit of a shock. Certainly not expecting a time that quick to be the cutoff time, but... Tenten's out on track right now to try and improve. You hear it slightly? Let me know how it like how it sounds. Does it work? Does it not work? If it fails, that's fine. I don't mind. So RP1 Zer, first lap was on the medium compound tyre, has switched out to the quicker soft red mark tyre and goes 11th fastest and less than a tenth away from the uh, safe zone. Josh, you're out. You're not out. You are 8th. And depending on what other people do, Could find yourself through here. For Josh to be out, he needs three drivers to improve and beat him. Currently, we've got 10 Tent, Zert, Smaller Smiley, and Top Gun out on track on flying laps. Kirito uh, is now. Oh, Smaller Smiley, sorry. Goes seventh fastest and pushes 10 Tent into the drop zone. If 10 Tent can't improve here, he will be out. Top Gun's also on the back straight. Carito's improving, I think. Here comes Tenten and goes third fastest and pushes Padge, his teammate, out of qualifying. And here comes Top Gun, can't get through, only 12th fastest. And with RP1 Zer setting his personal best last time around, and with Carito on a slow lap. That is going to be it. And, well, Josh said he was out. Well, it was so close. Tenth place for Josh. And unfortunately for Greg in 15th, Ayer in 14th, Zer in P13, Top Gun in 12th, and Padge, very unfortunate there to be 11th. Um, unfortunately, then 5 will be heading out of Q2. And I'm pretty sure the gap between 2nd and 10th was only thir three, 3 tenths of a second. Gosh, English. It is so close. And you could say that anyone in this top 10 could get a podium here tonight. And drivers to set two flying laps is reducing, but they should have more than enough time to do so. Some drivers may go for one run if they only have one set of new new tyres at their disposal. Josh, though, last season was the first driver out of the garage in quali. This season seems to be the other way around. As there comes Adrian out of the pits at, uh, well, I have to say, quite a bit of a poor time. Um, into the middle of 10-10 uh, as he starts his lap as Ross comes round turn 4 puts the throttle 
to the floor. Using as much track as he can out of turn six through turn seven. Keeps as close to the inside curve as you can. Give yourself as much apex and corner trajectory for turn eight so that you set yourself up for the double left. Car positioning is crucial on this lap. If you go too deep into any of the corners, the next corner will throw you off. Some corners are an exception, of course. The hairpin, not too fussed about the line you take. As long as you get a good exit, as long as you don't lock up into it, you should be absolutely fine. Ross here, you can see top speed 193. That is eight miles an hour slower than deflated Wii in Q1. I wonder if Ross is running a wet setup here. Deploy, all the ERS deploy has been used Round the final corner, but it's a pretty quick lap time from Ross, who does a 32.8. As deflated, we comes across the line to the fastest lap time we have seen this week, I imagine. A 32.1. That is over two tenths quicker than what he did last session. And he was clear on the rest of the field by four tenths. TD comes across the line to do a 33.9. But Killian does a 32.4 and matches what Deflated We did in Q2. However, Killian will be fully aware that We has gone that much quicker than him already. 10 10 currently fourth fastest, smaller. Smiley, good effort there up into fifth. Uh, pushed down to sixth as Mr. Wiggles does a 32.5 and goes third fastest. Carito currently 7th and TD 8th. Josh and Adrian out on the track as we speak on a flying lap. Holy bloody cow, says Johnny B. What a lap, certainly. And uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to have to check if that's some kind of record in this league. Um, as Adrian continues round his lap. See what miles an hour he can get up to. Well, I don't think Adrian's running any kind of wet setup. 206 down the back straight. Quickest we've seen today, to my knowledge. Could be very strong in this last sector. But what will the time be? His teammate has done a 32-1. And Adrian pops up into P4 on a 32-6. Not too bad there. Making it two McLarens in the top four. What can Josh manage? Can confirm we are nowhere near the quality record. We had some pretty quick cars a few seasons ago. Josh crossed the line, 32.9. So not quite as quick as what he did last session. In fact, no, he's, he's a little bit quicker than what he did last session, but Josh said on Monday's practice race that he was really struggling and would somehow struggle to get some points being on the wheel, of course. This is a controller-friendly track. So, to be fair, Josh, that's a very good lap time for a wheel user. Quality record, in case you're interested, is at 1 minute 29.3, so we're still nowhere near the record. You're going to give Muppet your account and let him race on Sunday. No, you're not. Yeah, we're expecting some kind of rain early in the race. Don't know how much rain, don't know exactly when. Could be, I don't know, lap 5, could be lap 10, who knows. But the first round of lap times have come to an end and it's round one knockout for Deflated Week. Can anyone get close to that 32-1? And then, first driver on a flying lap towards the end of the session. Killian's out there on an outlap 
The other eight drivers still in the pits, biding their time, waiting for the opportune time to come out. 1010 then will take you on board. Currently P7, 33-4. Needs half a second just to get to Josh in sixth. But that's pretty much all the time he's gained in sector one. Three and a half tenths in that opening sector. May have had a bit of a nightmare on his opening run. Stays in sixth for turn seven and through turn eight. Pretty good, a little bit wide off the apex, but we'll allow him that. Shouldn't cost him too much time. Under braking, six and a half tenths up. Currently good enough for a 0.7 or a 0.8. We'll put him up as it stands into fifth place. Down the back straight. 10 10, only reaching 191 miles per hour. So again, maybe 10 10 running a bit more of a wet setup. Here takes a whole bunch of curb, steals some from turn 12, shoves it on that final corner to make his exit that much better, and just misses out on a spot on row two of the grid. Fifth fastest for 1010, and if possible, he's running a wet setup. That is pretty good, if you ask me. Only half a second away from deflated, and this is the calm before the storm. Ross and Wiggles leaving it late. In fact, Wiggles, if he doesn't get a move on, if he doesn't get a wiggle on, um, won't be able to go for another lap here. Everyone else out on the track. And here comes Killian on his flying lap. And lo and behold, onto the back straight. There goes Tom Dog in front. IRL TD giving a monster slipstream. Look at that. And look at the miles per hour. Soar up to 203 miles per hour. So Killian really benefiting from that. Only two and a half tenths away from pole position. Sorry, three and a half tenths away from pole position. And with that slipstream, could definitely be in with a shot at getting it. Round the final corner and goes, stays second, but improves his lap time. But was that Killian's best effort? With no ERS left, he will have to maintain in P2 and hope that no one can go faster than him. Adrian coming to a new lap and Stenson getting out of the way. Uh, Josh on an out lap. Two smaller Smiley starting a new lap as we speak. TD's on a flyer. Carito though, half a second to the good. We'll put him up into eighth place as things stand around the final corner. Anything is still possible for the Red Bull drivers. It's a 32-7 and goes up to P6. Pretty good effort there from Kirito. And it's very close between Mr. Wiggles and Josh. Only four tenths separating those six drivers. The TD. Well, there's only one way to go in this session. And that is up. And there you see some Alpine tactics once again. The Alpine slipstream as TD comes around in sector three to get a nice little slipstream will this be enough for td to break into that group in the top eight needs a whole second improvement here as killian runs wide on purpose to allow td the space to maneuver his way around this shanghai track lovely last corner Slams on the throttle and TD goes sick fastest. Head of Carito, uh, but not quite quicker than 1010. Good lap there from TD. We've got a McLaren coming to the line. Adrian goes third fastest, 32 2, and puts himself on the second row of the grid. Smaller Smiley, no improvement there on that final lap in terms of his position as Josh goes fourth fastest on a 32-4. Deflated Wee, meanwhile, is going absolutely flying. 32-0, quickest we've seen this week once again. But what can Ross manage? All of his deploys used 
and it's fifth for Ross as he crosses the line and overtakes his nemesis, Mr. Wiggles, by five hundredths of a second. And Mr. Wiggles did not make it out for a final run, so had to main, uh, had to put up with P6. The deflated wheat pole position, looking to regain the lead of the championship back from Josh, who stole it last week in um, Kota. Killian alongside him on the front row of the grid. Adrian, Josh, Ross, Wiggles, 1010 TD, Carito, Smaller, Smiley, make up the top 10, and it's very close between that top nine. Only seven tenths of a second feature driver this week. Asma Frog racing in the Mercedes. He is 37 years of age from the Highlands, which is in Scotland. Occupation, he is an assistant manager. Didn't say for what, but assistant manager. His hobbies and interests include Formula One, football and Forex trading. Races on the wheel, Logitech G923 to be specific. Favourite driver on the grid is Sebastian Vettel, or should we say off the grid now? Favourite track on this game is Jeddah. And as for his racing strength, he says tyre management and clean driving. That is no time penalties, no incidents. His season four goals is to looking to improve from last season and considers IARL Padge as his rival. Currently, Padge has the upper hand based on qualifying. Can Asma Frog fight back and get some points here tonight? This season has struggled for a little bit of form. No points on the board from his opening seven races, three DNFs. Close. Well in the championship fight. Only 24 points behind our championship leader, Josh. And as the timer ticks down... Chinese chaos is about to commence. McLaren on the first and second row of the grid. Their constructors' hopes looking up. And the race is underway. And Deflated Wee has a good start. He's maintained his lead ahead of Killian. Side by side now going Josh and Adrian. I think there's a little bit of contact there. And Josh has lost a bit of momentum. Further back we've got Mr Wiggles and TD. And Tenten, sorry, going side by side. They're going three wide, including both Ferraris of Top Gun and Aya, as Padge is involved in that as well. And both Aston Martins making moves up the field. Slap bus, especially, it was a late inside defence from Zer. Uh, goes a bit awry, and Joseph Hales down the inside, up into 14th place already. Tenten. Losing out. And now alongside Kirito round the outside of turn eight. That's a beautiful move. Certainly not one for the half-assed committed driver. Needed to be super committed there as Top Gun sticks his nose out and tries to get down the inside of Kirito. Perhaps because of the impending threat of rain. But everyone seems to have had a good start, apart from Longson, who you can see just a few seconds back in the in the background. As down the inside of Aya goes the slap bus on the hard compound tyre. He was absolutely flying on this opening lap. That bright yellow helmet giving him powers, maybe, as Deflated Wee comes across the line to set a new fastest lap of the race on lap one. Not too surprising, but more surprisingly, Killian has not been dropped, is well within the DRS range. DRS, of course, will be enabled on lap three. And, of course, when the rain starts to fall, 
there will be no DRS at all. So drivers need to make the most of the DRS while they can. Everyone still within a second of the car ahead, with the exception of Longson, but he is catching the pack as we speak. So tyre strategies, those on the harder compound tyre don't think it's going to start raining immediately. Those on the mediums, as Asmafro just goes a little bit wide into turn nine, those on the mediums will be hoping that the rain comes out soon so that they don't have to make a pit stop before the rain comes. But the question is, who has timed it right? We have no idea as things stand when the rain is going to fall as Frog under increasing pressure from Greg and Pelly behind We've got Josh at the moment who has just slipped out of DRS range as across the line comes deflated we to start lap 3 where DRS will be enabled oh and Top Gun has dropped and there you can see spin at the final quarter for Top Gun Rain is falling. Struggling to see it on my screen. You may very well be right. Yes, and I've just seen some rain it is starting to fall. So for those drivers on the medium compound tyre, this is good news. It's not it's not horrible news for Ross and Slap Bus on the hard compound tyre, Joseph Ailes too. But at this stage in the race, those mediums are just going to have a bit more pace. <laughs> Very good, TJ. I've missed that command. Slap bus, a late addition. Not sure how much practice he's got in. Especially at this track, it's not a track you would instantly think to practice. Not many leagues would have had it in their seasons. Most leagues tend to do a bit of an authentic season as TD now making the most, as we say, of the DRS. But even with that rear wing open, he's not catching Josh. Maybe Josh has lowered that front wing. Oh, my controller batteries are low. That's not good. Let's find some uh, some fresh ones. So lap four, Deflated we still leads Killian by half a second. Adrian is out of DRS range and Josh out of DRS range from Adrian in fourth. TD fifth, uh, Wiggles in sixth, Ross in P7, 10-10 Carito Padge make up the top 10 and are in a bit of a DRS train behind of Josh. There's a bit of action going into turn six. Carito looking for a move up the inside of 10-10. 10-10 was pretty close to Ross, but had to uh, give Carito some space on the inside. And the race has now turned into who is going to box for wet tyres at the right time. It's all well and good having the pace on these mediums, but if you pit too early or too late for those intermediate tyres... It's curtains for you, and you're going to lose a heck of a lot of time. Oh, was Adrian spun? Out of turn 13, Adrian, big mistake, and that's cost him, oh, that's cost him 10 places, that has. That's how close this tier of racing is. As up into third goes TD, or maybe not. Oh, bit of a slide from Josh out of the hairpin. TD says... Bam, bam, thank you, ma'am. And it looks like everyone's boxing for wet tyres now. Josh has stayed out, and so is Carito. So both Red Bull drivers, perhaps, thinking that this is not the right lap to pit. Oh, and TD's getting held up by his teammate massively as they double stack at Alpine. Of course, intermediate tyres on for everyone. And race control has just disabled DRS. It was absolutely the right decision to pit this lap. 
and everyone that has stayed out, that top 11, Longson in 13th and Pelly in 14th, are really going to struggle. And let's go on board with Deflated Wii, as those intermediate tyres are the perfect tyre to be on right now. Longson and Asthma Frog fighting on tyres that are not good in these conditions might help, might hold up the likes of Killian and Mr Wiggles behind. I'm going to change my batteries now. Oh, Zer's had a bit of a spin out of turn nine. That just tells you how difficult these conditions are. I'm going to change my batteries before all the pit stops happen. Three wide then on the run down to the hairpin. And Killian on those intermediate tyres gets ahead. Slap bus is staying out, as is Adrian. Greg also staying out. Aya also staying out. You can see a load of drivers into the pits right now. And drivers boxing for intermediate compound tyres. Those top four perhaps will be hoping that the rain is not going to stick to the grand, ground and make the track worse. They're hoping that this is just a little shower. But let's see. Oh, you can just see out of that turn six that the traction, the time gained is there for those on the intermediate compound tyres. Those green marked set of rubber on the car working wonders deflated we gaining two or three tenths per corner on Greg just shows you Everyone who pitted for the under lap four has made the correct choice. Slap bus now resigned to come into the pits. Adrian too also follows suit. And Greg, you can see in the foreground, dives into the pits and releases deflated into the lead. So slap bus then was in first. With the tyres on the car after the pit stop has now dropped all the way down to 10th. However, from his starting position of 19th, I'm sure he won't be too mad about that. Everyone now is on the intermediate tyres and Joseph Hales just speeding in the pit lane. Very hard to slow the car down in wet conditions and possibly has some damage. A new front wing there for Joseph, you can see, going on the car. So that's going to send him to the back of the field. Very tricky. Turning into a slip and slide Grand Prix. By the moment, rain is still falling. It's not drastic. It's not a torrential downpour. We may yet still see some slick tyres towards the end of this Grand Prix. But hard to tell at this point. Oh, big slide for Ross and Wiggles runs wide. Also 10-10 running wide in the background in P6. Now is a good time then. As we see Top Gun and Smaller Smiley fighting over 12. Top Gun gets down the inside but smaller has the better exit and retakes that place now then is a pretty good time to have a look at the positions gained throughout the course of this Grand Prix you can see everyone in the top 10 has gained some places unless they're we Killian oh and off the track and out of the race smaller smiley 
And will that be a safety car? It's just a yellow flag and it is a full course safety car. Smaller Smiley had a huge pressure behind from Top Gun. Managed to defend his position, but out of that final corner, just lost traction. And out goes Smiley from this race. I was going to say the previous lap that in these kind of conditions, it's very easy for someone to dr make a mistake, drop the rear, and potentially crash out. But that has been certainly confirmed here tonight. If I was Joseph Hales here, I'd pit and get rid of that five-second penalty. Field is going to be bunched up. Joseph's already in 18th place. Certainly would not be a bad idea for Joseph. Otherwise, that penalty is going to loom over his head for the whole of the Grand Prix. He got it second time, Novatek. And deflated Wee's lead. 4.7 seconds. He worked hard for that. It's now gone. Everyone is going to bunch. Safety car waiting out of turn four. You can see the yellow dot on the track map. So all of Deflated Wee's hard work in this opening eight laps is gone. I wonder what TD's doing. Is he going for a new set of inters? Is he going for slicks? What's he going to do? Has he got damage? And it's a new set of inters for TD. So no front wing change here. A strategic move from... TD. I wonder if that will pay off with some points. That releases Page into 8th, Slapbus 9th, Adrian back into the points after that spin that dropped him from P3 to P13 earlier in the race. He's now back in the points and has a bit of redemption on his mind. Joseph Hale's boxes. Uh, don't speed this time around, and you can see he was going very slow into the pits there. The safety car has bunched up the top nine. Adrian and those outside of the top ten will bunch up. Joseph Hales needs to put in a couple of quick laps here to make sure that the safety car doesn't restart this race without him on the back of the train Pelly also needs to get a bit of a wriggle on just to make sure that he doesn't get left behind I believe it was a good decision pitting there to get rid of the penalty but Joseph Hales now has uh, a tough task in pushing as hard as he can without making any kind of mistakes don't get any more time penalties of course we say Currently in 12th place, so TD's not lost an awful amount of time. He's only lost about four places in that. And instead, he's got newer tyres on the car. But out in front, Deflated Wee has the, the job of restarting this Grand Prix. Make sure that. Killian doesn't get ahead. You can see Killian is ready to go at any point. Drivers are weaving across the track as they slow. The tyres are going to plummet. So weaving helps to keep the tyres nice and hot as the safety car is coming into the pits. You don't want to go too early here because the safety car entry line is still technically on the track. And I imagine we'll see Deflated Wee go out of the final corner. And off he goes. And it's a nice restart. Looks like Tenten has lost a little bit of ground. As out down the inside goes Carito on Tenten. Bold move 
as both of them swing it round. Bit wide from 10-10, and as a result, he loses the position and has to slot into seventh place. But it was a good restart from Deflated Wee. Killian still within range. Kirito, <coughs> after making that overtake, is now up into P6. And so comes Ross on Mr. Wiggles, perhaps. Keeping an eye on TDs already up into 11th place on that new set of tyres. As uh, I think Pelly getting overtaken by Joseph. Also, Top Gun and Zer switching places for 14th place now. Top Gun ahead. Adrian TD very close to the back of Patch. And this is where. Those wet setups are going to really come into the fray. Inflated Wii leading by eight tenths. Usually, lap three after a safety car restart will get some DRS enabled, but not in the wet conditions. And Slapbus now helping himself to a place at the expense of 10 tenths. So far, so good from everyone. Oh, as you say that, Carito just running wide and getting a time penalty for track limits. TD then. Maybe looking for a move. Bit of an outside chance of passing Adrian. No pressure immediately behind from Top Gun, who has just overtaken his teammate for 12. Top Gun is flying here. Both Top Gun and TD were two of the four drivers to box for new tyres, and there goes TD down the inside of turn six. Bit of contact with Adrian, but Adrian keeps it nice and friendly. TD, late move, you would have to say, but nice move nonetheless into turn six, up into 10th. Up 13 of 28, rapidly approaching half distance in this Grand Prix. And so far we've had differing tyre strategies from the get-go. We've had people boxing the intermediate tyres. We had Smaller Smiley losing it out the final corner in the wet and bringing a full safety car out. It's Adrian now. Getting overtaken by Top Gun. Top Gun is absolutely flying. And Adrian, with that kind of top speed, you have to say, probably running more of a dry setup here. Adrian always caught TD on that straight with his straight line speed. And a few wiggles from Adrian as he looks to put down the throttle. 10 10 at the final corner gets a three second penalty in eighth place this is where people are probably going to start to get a few more warnings not many people would have done wet weather practice in time trial Out in front, Deflated Wee leads Killian by 1.2 seconds. Killian has a one second advantage on Josh, who is on the podium as things stand. However, under pressure from Mr. Wiggles and Ross behind. Then we've got Carito, who is a second behind Ross, defending from Slapbus and Tantem. We then got Padge defending from TD in what is a all management fight for P9. Plenty of battles up and down the field as to Adrian making a slight mistake out of turn nine. Top Gun flies back past into 11th, but this is going to hinder Top Gun's progress to try and catch TD here, who might be losing a little bit of time behind Padge. Down that back straight, Killian. Must have used quite a bit of ERS. Closes the gap now to 
six or seven tenths of a second. Very close between them top two. Maybe Killian just trying to find his feet in the wet conditions on those intermediate tyres as we see Adrian running very wide at the final corner. For 14th, Joseph Hales missed out on Quali. Started in 20th place. Really doing all right in 14th. Looking to close the gap to Ayahuasca in 13th. As Padge and TD fighting. TD possibly did the same move on Padge that he did on Adrian into turn six and TD up into ninth place now and only 1.4 away from 1010 who has that time penalty however oh, 1010 so close to the back of slap bus here really 1010 needs to make this move and try and gain some ground on his rivals otherwise he's just going to slip out of the points at the end of the race with that three second time penalty Slap bus running very low wings, pulling away from 1010. You can see just how much time he's pulled away on that straight alone. Pick then up with as Top Gun overtakes Padge into the hairpin. Top Gun now into the points. Padge slots behind into P11 as 1010 hits. I wonder if this is for new tyres. It is still raining, so I doubt it's going to be slicks. And it's full wets for 1010. Oh, it's a slow stop as well. Oh, no, that's just a bit of a glitch. But it's full wet tyres for 1010. Was running 8th place. And we'll have to keep an eye on his delta. Currently 7 seconds behind Asthma Frog. Is that a genius call? Or is that a move too many? Only time will tell. Currently still just seven seconds behind Asthma Frog. Not sure what his pace is like right now compared to the leaders, but he's not really losing time to Frog as... Oh, Wiggles is out! And I saw Ross overtook Wiggles, but that's the reason why Mr. Wiggles out of this Grand Prix. And the wet weather claims another victim in China. A full course safety car on lap 16. And a whole plethora of drivers boxing. We've got Killian now into the pits. Kirito pitting, slap bus pitting. Are they going to follow suit and go for the wet compound tyres? No, it's another set of inters for Killian. Slap bus. Kirito has another set of inters. Slap bus has a new set of inters. Uh, Padge is pitting, I is pitting, Zer and Pelly and Asthma for are all pitting for new intermediate tyres. 1010 stays out on the wets. So maybe he's comfortable. Certainly, those top three with 11 plus lap old intermediate tyres. We're going to maybe start to feel the pressure in this second stint. TD, Top Gun and Joseph Hales all boxed for new inters at the end of the last safety car. So that is why they are in the top six. And to be fair, it actually looks like a pretty good strategy call. Uh, evening snacks. How am I? I am very good, thank you. 
I'm pretty much recovered from a cold from last week, but you might still be able to tell that I'm not 100%. It's been a fascinating race so far. Quali was dominated by Deflated. Did a 32-0 in Q3. Killian started second on the grid. And Deflated Wheat, had it not been for these safety cars, would probably be about five or six seconds ahead of everyone else right now. We had a dry start to this Grand Prix. It has turned wet. rp one Zer, by the way, has gone on to wet tyres as well. Full wet tyres, that is. So we'll have to keep an eye on their delta. Safety car has to stay out for another lap. This is the first full lap the safety car has been out. I imagine on lap 18, the safety car will come back into the pits. Did we? We started on dry tyres, moved over to Inters on lap 3 or lap 4, lap 5, that kind of time. We had a safety car caused by small, Smaller Smiley, a safety car caused just now by Mr Wiggles. Ten Ten and Zer have done bit of a risk in going on the full wets. I don't believe it's a bad call, but we're yet to see the true pace of the wet tyres, so this is going to be a very interesting few laps on the restart. How am I? I'm good, thank you. I'm good. It's been great race so far and I imagine this final 10 laps are going to be very fast, very frantic maybe some mistakes creeping in only two time penalties on the board for drivers so it's going to be really crucial to keep them clean oh a bit of a mistake I think from uh, Josh out of the final corner and Ross and, T Ross and TD are all over the back of that Red Bull like a rash there goes TD, oh, maybe a little bit of contact with Ross as Ross corrects a slight snap of oversteer, but so far so good. Carito making his way past Greg. Greg fighting back. We've got Slap Us in the background trying to get past Greg as well. It's all frantic on this restart. We did say it would be. Foolish to think otherwise. He's top three, by the way. 14, 13 and 14 lap old. Intermediate tyres have not pitted under any of the two safety cars in the wet conditions. Everyone who has got two laps or fewer has boxed under this last safety car. Everyone in between, well, they pitted on the first safety car for new tyres. But it looks like Josh is struggling to get that power down. It's down the inside of Ross. TD looks, and there goes Top Gun now, thinking that this is going to be a top move. TD down the inside of Ross, brilliant move there as Ross struggling on the tyres. But Ross, now you see the setups are coming into play. The drier setup from Ross, perhaps. More straight line speed. TD dives down the inside and takes control of P3. But Ross looking to fight back. Not close enough. And TD now on for a, a podium position. Which in quali, you have to say, didn't look too plausible. Deflated Wee leads Josh by just over a second. TD, although he's fighting Ross, is still well within touching distance of the back of that Red Bull. Joseph defending hard from Killian. Killian boxing onto new tyres as down the inside goes the Alpine on the Alpha Tari, but Joseph Hill sticks it around the outside brilliantly. Gets a good exit. Should have the inside line for turn seven. And Joseph Hale's good defence there against Killian, who is looking to close the gap on Josh in the championship. Ten Ten still pretty competitive on those wet compound tyres as Greg and Adrian 
uh, swapping places into turn eight. And well, let's go over with turn ten and see how those wet tyres are holding up. See you, Tamino, mate. Thanks for stopping by. Hope you have a good night, mate. And see how tentative 1010 is on the throttle, but he's certainly no means slower than those around him. Plenty of moves happening up in the foreground. Oh, and they're going so close. Here comes Carito now. Joseph Hales losing out to Killian down the back straight as Ross loses a place to Top Gun and TD now in striking distance of second place all of this action is making for a brilliant end of race spectacles round the outside of Carito slap bus is looking into turn three but one move that isn't going to happen, I'm afraid. Carito. <coughs> Gosh. Gosh, I do apologise. I'm clearly not ready for this much talking. <laughs> Slap bus looks pretty comfortable in the corners. Kirito looks pretty comfortable on the straights. Remember Joseph Hales started 20th on the grid, joined late, did not have a chance to set a lap time in Q1 and started 20th on the grid. Slap bus started 19th on the grid and likewise did not get to set a lap time in Q1. And Ross here getting outpaced by Killian Orr's down the inside of Joseph Hales goes Carito. I don't know if that was a nudge from Carito or Joseph Hales had to give more space there, but definitely seemed a little bit cheeky from Carito. Bit of a dive bomb from a good chunk of uh, space back on the back straight there is more action this time slap bus around the outside of Joseph Hales but again the move is not going to work around the outside as Tenten has decided to retire the car in the pits no crash, no safety car was hoping that those wet compound tyres would bring him a bit more joy nice little switch back through turn 5 and into turn 6 slap bus has the line on Joseph What about podium watch then? Deflated Wii still leads Josh by 1.9 seconds. As things stand, Deflated Wii will take the lead of the championship back from Josh. Only two points separating the top two in the championship. But TD here is hoping to ruin Josh's championship hopes just a little bit more. I have to say, TD looks very comfortable in these wet conditions. TD, green horizontal bar in the cockpit. That means he's using as much ERS as he can, but he's still losing time here. And... From what we're seeing, it looks like if Josh can get a good exit out of that long right-hander in sector three, then it should be okay to keep hold of P2. TD's best shot here is possibly going for a move into turn one. You can see here just how much he's uh, gaining. Lap 23 of 28. Yellow flag in sector 3. Pelly has gone um, a little bit slowly. Back on track now. Kirito with the time penalty. That currently will set him behind Slapbus, Joseph and Padge down to P10.
Rain still falling here in China. Not quite as contagious as COVID. Certainly. This race is gripping us just like COVID did a few years ago. Top Gun here now on exactly the same tyre strategy as TD. Looks to be in with a realistic shot at a podium here, but does need to make the move on TD. TD pulls to the middle of the track. You can see TD just win it, running a few higher wings. And the drivers he's in between right now. That's how close everyone is. Deflated we on lap 24 leads Josh by two seconds. And bar a huge mistake, which I believe Joseph Ailes has done. Bit of a spin out of the final corner. That's very unlucky. Was on for a really good result there, Joseph Ailes. And still can be very proud of what he's achieved so far from the back of the field I think Greg got an illegal overtake so had to uh, let Joseph pass and maybe Joseph's got an illegal overtake on Greg but certainly any of those top six can end up on the podium Killian has Best strategy in terms of tyres right now. Slap bus lines are getting a little bit skew with behind Carito. Purging the points once again. Adrian, after that spin in dry conditions, dropped him from third down to 13th. Has been on the uh, Looking on the up, but since the, the intermediates have gone on the card, just didn't look as quick as he did in the dry. I, uh, five seconds off the points, but I'm sure he won't mind too much with P11. Good result considering who's out of the race and the drivers behind him that are quicker than him. Longson 12th, Greg 13th, Asma, Asma Frogar, feature driver tonight. Hasn't really been in the battles too much. Another yellow flag, I believe Joseph Hales um, really struggling at the moment. It's Killian and Top Gun. And for a move, this is going to come back in Killian's favour down the inside. Inside moves are better than outside moves in the wet. On this track it would seem good exit for Top Gun. But now they're going side by side down into turn six. Killian just has a slight nose advantage. But they're fully side by side through six. Top Gun has the inside line. As Joseph Hills boxes and retires the car. So no safety car coming out. Well defended by Top Gun. But now has the inside line. Can he finally get ahead of Killian? But Killian puts a bit more throttle on around the outside. Has the inside line for turn eight and turn nine. And they're still going side by side. Oh, bit of a wiggle from Top Gun. Bit of contact from Killian, and through goes Ross into P4. What a move from Ross, he, he bided his time. And here comes Kirito now. Killian was in fourth. His championship hopes were certainly looking pretty good. But now if he drops to eighth, here comes Slabbers trying to go down the inside. Oh my word, they're all weaving everywhere. Oh, a bit of a nudge. No harm done. And after all that, when all is said and done, Ross jumps up two places. Carito up past Killian. Top Gun stays exactly where he is. Out in front. Josh reducing the gap to 1.4. Will he catch us more contact between Killian and Carito? Just some harmless wheel touching. And again through turn two. Carito stays ahead of Killian. 
in the foreground. You can see TD still on the back of Josh. Slabus trying to go around the outside. He's tried that move a few times now and it just hasn't quite worked. Padge now back in the running for maybe a couple more points in this Grand Prix. Two laps to go, plus the one they're on. We'll join Podium Watch. Josh losing a few tenths this lap. TD piling the pressure on. Ross now has a bit of breathing room behind from Top Gun and is starting to close the gap on TD. Bit of a slide from Josh. Now we know Josh has better straight line speed. And look how much those wings are costing TD right now. We'll have to start thinking of driver of the day pretty soon. It's hard to look past deflated wheat. A couple of other drivers definitely deserve their name thrown into the mix as well, but we're still not done. Killian and Carito once again, side by side in the opening few corners. This time Killian trying to switch back, but Carito too far ahead. Top Gun as a mistake from Ross. You don't see that very often. And Ferrari and Alfa Romeo going side by side. Top Gun gets the better of Ross. Yellow flag as uh, tried the risk on the wet compound tyres. It wasn't awfully slow it was just just didn't quite work for him retires the car a couple of laps from the end out in front though we has had a bit of a mare lap 27 has not been one to remember josh now only eight tenths behind and this last lap is gonna be for the win behind we got Kirito getting ahead of Ross up into fifth place my word I'm not sure how much my throat can manage but we'll plow on the top three separated by one and a half seconds as deflated we starts the final lap of the race he pitted at the perfect time for the intermediate tyres. Unlike anyone else, apart from Ross and Josh, he did not pit under the safety cars. He maintained his track position. And if he, if he wins this race, it will be down to that strategy call. Out in the background, we've got Top Gun in P4, Carito P5, but he is due to drop behind Ross, Killian, Slapbus, and Padge at the end of the race. That will cost him four places. Three places, four places. Who knows? We'll have to wait and see. TD, so much confidence through those corners. Can he get a good exit here? But Josh, this is as closest as he's been to the back of Deflated's car the whole race. But a bit of a wiggle. TD had to lift off slightly. Josh is gaining. But is he too far back? Four tenths says yes, he is too far back. This race has been an absolute spectacle. Drama from Quali to the start of the race to the finish. And somehow, with 10 laps of racing after this safety car, the top nine are so close together. Deflated Wii wins here in China and regains the lead of the championship. TD 
couldn't get Josh at the line. Josh gets hold of second, and TD with an absolutely superb podium there. Commiserations to Top Gun, who had a fantastic drive himself, but fourth place was the best he could manage. Killian, P5, bit of a damage limitation in terms of the championship, will lose some ground on the top two. Ross, P6, fabulous double move, but in the end, sixth place was the best he could hope for tonight. The slap bus from the back of the field, 19th to P7. Very strong result. Well done, CD. You did say before the race that this was possibly the best chance you had at a podium tonight, and this wasn't exactly the way you thought it would go, but your pace was great, mate. You made no mistakes, exactly like what we talked about a few days ago, and you got your well deserved podium. Hadge in P8, again, once again. No penalties, keeping it clean, Mr. Consistent. Carito drops down to ninth with those penalties. And Adrian, after that early spin, does get a point on a bit of a recovery drive. Aya, Longson, Greg, Asma Frog, Pelly, and Zer all classified. Smaller Smiley's crash at the final corner brought out the first safety car around lap eight. And Mr. Wiggles' crash on lap 16 brought the second safety car out. 10-10 tried a strategy with the wet tyres but didn't quite work. Joseph Hales had a really strong start to the race from the back of the grid but just didn't quite work. In the end, retired the car on his own. Oh, right, I can breathe now. My goodness, right. Driver of the day, I mean... Special mentions definitely to Slap Bus, Top Gun, Deflator We bossed it all race. Had to do two safety car restarts and perfected them both. Definitely all strong contenders, but I think Driver of the Day is going to go to a person who doesn't normally appear on the podium. TD is very, very quick, but only his second podium in IRL driver of the day is going to be TD tonight and you might say that's biased well considering everything where TD qualified this evening in the dry his performance in the wet was absolutely outstanding can't be overlooked for me TD driver of the day wow So Josh came into this race leading by two points. Deflated Wii gains seven on Josh. I don't know who got fastest laps, so that may swing it by a point or so. So by my calculations, Deflated Wii leading the championship by five points. Remember what we said at the start of the stream, the last two seasons in 81, the driver who has led the championship at the halfway mark has gone on to win the championship.